Hi there, my name is Bernie and I'm going to show you how to create a Cortana skill using the Echo template in Node.js. I'm also going to show you uh, quickly how to configure your development account so that you don't have to pay zero charges um, once you're developing skills. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you disconnect yourself, um, Cortana on your desktop, uh, from any existing account that you may have. And it's not obvious, but what you do is if you click on the Cortana uh, search box and you go to your uh, notebook, uh, you'll see your name here in the top left. If you click on it, you can actually uh, sign out. Um, so let's sign out and sign up as our uh, developer account, which I just created. So this is going to use the test account that I just created for this purpose. So now Cortana will be able to locate um, our skill while it's being developed because it will not be published uh, to the world. So here we go. We're now logged in uh, to Cortana with my test account. So now we're good to go um, and actually going to create our skill. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the Edge browser and you should be able to use Chrome or any other browser. And we're going to go to the Bot Framework website which is our entry point to everything bought. Uh, we're going to make sure we sign in, uh, choose the test account that we have created. Uh, we can now go to create a bot or skill. Uh, and this will bring us onto the Azure portal. Uh, double check if it doesn't prompt you to log in you'll see your login credentials here so make sure you're logged into your uh, development account uh, we do want to create a web app bot from a template but we're not going to go there quite yet the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our um, free uh, service plan so in this wonderful window here just type service plan and you'll see your app service plan here and we want to create one Uh, so type in something interesting without spaces, for example, uh, Echo Demo Test Plan, Echo, sorry, maybe this free trial, I was getting ahead of myself, resource group is going to be uh, Echo Demo Test Resources. Um, all that's cool, and here's the thing that we really want to change. Right now we have a standard tier uh, for pricing, uh, and that's the default. And We don't really want the default because that means we're going to eat into our $200 free credit. So we're going to pick an F1 F for free plan, apply that, pin it to our dashboard just for fun, create it. Uh, we'll wait uh, for it to create our free plan, and then we're going to go back and make our web app. So again, we're going to go um, to our uh, web services. And in here, we're going to see the web app bot, uh, which we saw before, but I skipped over it so I could change my plan. I'm going to create a new web app bot. And we'll call it Echo Demo Test Bot. And it is using my free trial. And it is, uh, I'll say use existing resource group and I'll pick the one that I just made. Uh, the location, make sure that we get our pricing correct. F for free. Um, app name is fine. Um, the template, um, we're gonna pick node. And we're gonna pick the basic node echo bot. Uh, and then we're going to pin it to the dashboard after we make sure that everything else looks okay. 
uh, and everything else does look okay. We're going to have it auto create our app ID and password for us. Boom. Uh, we're now going to create the thing and let Azure go and deploy, deploy the environment for us. Uh, and once it's finished deploying, um, we'll go uh, hook it up to Cortana and, and uh, make a slight modification to the code so Cortana actually speaks. So there we go. The deployment has succeeded. Um, that is excellent news. Uh, let's just refresh the page. It had some. I had some things pinned to my dashboard that don't exist anymore, so I'm just going to get rid of those quick. Uh, so here's our test bot, and uh, we can test it in web chat just to make sure that the bot service works. Uh, and it is an echo bot, so it'll just repeat back to us uh, what we type in. So you can see now uh, we're in our little uh, web app uh, test tool. So let's see if it actually echoes. Type in the word echo. And it comes back and said, you said echo. And so effectively it invoked our uh, web app. Um, passed in our message, processed our message, and sent it back to us. So that's step one. So now we know that the bot works. The next step is actually hooking up to the Cortana channel. And how you do that is you click on the channels blade, then you click on configure Cortana. Um, you have the option of uploading your skill icon and whatnot. Uh, display name, echo demo test bot is good enough. For the invocation name, uh, I'm going to just uh, make it a little bit more identifiable. So I'm just going to call it echo demo test. Uh, and I don't want to access any of my user profile information, so I'll just leave this all clicked off. Uh, no, I just have to connect to Cortana. So now we're connecting uh, this uh, bot to the Cortana channel. Um, but that does not necessarily mean that well, we will be able to uh, here are responses from Cortana because we meet, need to make a tiny little code change. So uh, everything is uh, now connected. So our next step is actually going to go into build. And we're going to go into the online code editor. And our logic will live inside of this app.js script. And you can see it's very short and sweet. Uh, here is where it actually tells us, uh, sends our message back to us. And I'm just going to modify this quickly as opposed to using send, which is text. Um, typically, you can also send a message as well where you can add uh, a sort of um, a rich response. Um, but by default, we do just send text. So let's let's add this so it sends us uh, at least speech. So a uh, variable, just call it message for now. Uh, put in, um, have it echo back to us like it was. And as opposed to using send, which is just text, uh, we'll go say. Uh, and the first parameter in uh, say is the text that you want to be displayed. The second one is going to be uh, what you want it to say. Uh, and this also supports SSML, so you can add all sorts of interesting uh, inflection hints and whatnot. So um, that's it. The code is, is done. It's deployed. Um, uh, so the next thing after this is, is just uh, making sure that, uh, that we run. Now we're going to test the bot. Tell Echo Demo Test. Hey there. May I have your permission? Of course, we'll give you permission. It's a little bit s slow the first time you invoke, and then it's also... Sorry. But Echo Demo Test Bot isn't responding right now. Try again later. It could be in the process of deploying. Um, so the important thing is try, try again. Tell Echo Demo Test, hello, how are you? You said hello, how are you? And there you go. Thanks. That's it for this demo.